Hi right, guys, welcome to the channel with me, Dr. Real Good. How are you all doing today? Fantastically, stunningly, wonderfully well, I hope. I do. I hope that for all of us. Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world, of, world and story. Should not be played to win. I've never played a game that I haven't tried to win, so we'll see how that works out. Do not worry about when and how you shit yourself. I mean, save during gameplay. Game will take care of that for you. When you want to leave the game, just choose save and exit. And you can use continue to return to where you left off. Right, okay, but that's all standard. The world of amnesia is a dangerous place and you're extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide or even run if necessary. Okay. Play between the light and dark, very important. Looks, I don't know, looks good to me. This is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of amnesia. Am I going to remember any of this in the morning? Just normal. That was all a bit of a little wind up. Don't forget, shut up. Some things mustn't be forgotten. Shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. First and foremost, you don't live at Mayfair. You live within Mayfair, being a district and all. Just thought I'd point that out. Just being a little pedantic, I think. Why are we laying on the floor? Memento has been added to your journal. A quick access. Notes, diaries, mementos. Follow the liquid trail. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Okay. I'm not sure I want to. Oh, I might want to have a look around first. Well, that's the jump. It looks like doom. You're right now, eh? You haven't left, you haven't dropped one on the floor or something, have you?
Man of that bottle. I'm holding down a right stick. Well, that didn't work. Oh, I smacked myself in the face. Can't be that switch. Take it, that's inventory, yeah. all that bad. I came upstairs to go downstairs. No. You got it, Doc. I'm not that bothered about going in there. 
I did, I came upstairs to go downstairs. Who's Hazel then? What? Has a hazelnut in every bite? Screw shit. Ah, see. I just saw a bloody candle on the wall, didn't I? There's fish down here. We're gonna go insane, Doc. What do you mean, gonna go? We've been there, done that, really. Mrs. Jones. Could you help me please? Silly me for thinking that was a chest. run out then. Conveniently it's run out. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. 
Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, oh, but know sorry. this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. You're One right. last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Okay, then. get oil, do they? No? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. So it's down there then. I'm guessing. But what if I don't want to go down there? What if you don't have a choice? Well that's not particularly running at all is it? bloody thing away, you don't need it. Not yet. You could fill it up though. I tried to squish one. I don't think it worked. Nice. We're not going in there. We're not yet, anyway.
Someone's touching her up. Who kicked the dog? Oh, I was standing up. I thought I was crouching. You did it again, Doc. You came upstairs to go downstairs. Of course it won't budge. It's got these bloody great things in front of it. into the archives. We might find a claw hammer or a crowbar or a skeleton. On the 16th of May, 1839, the unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So are you the fucker that dug up to Tonkura Moon? Attention the services to Alexander. My freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my services at the Pers uh, at the Prussian, okay, Royal Court, within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Okay then. Let's um not break it then. Oh, we're back here. We are.
We're going to go loopy, Doc. On the 17th of May, 1839, my hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh dear. So were you still trapped? He was trapped, he was. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. Okay, he's playing the piano badly. Oh. He's right, we're trapped. Fragile but not breakable by hand. Swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then.
buried and rich with lore is Arlstadt, deep within the East Parisian woods. For centuries there's been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenberg, the quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes. It's a picturesque, it's as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Year War. It's said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move slightly, silently even, through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, easy for me to say, the well-known erudite, visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight and he got thoroughly drunk as he looked for the remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which means, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Oh my God! The Baron of Brandenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby in Alstad. Like most of the other people, Burr, rumours are inherited alongside the title. Research in the history reveals a little bit more. The castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role of as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed life. His presumed life time presumed? The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage, lineage, lineal, lineage, li about. Anyway, and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This fed the idea that Baron is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with great leaders of this country. Thank you. That's over. I don't see a key anywhere. It's hidden in that book, Doc. No, it's not, Doc. And it wasn't under it either. Maybe by picking the book up. No.
Oh, that's much nicer, isn't it? Hope we keep picking it up, Doc. Obviously goes that way. No. Okay then, how do we open it then? I don't know Doc, there's a switch here somewhere. If it's asking me to pull out a single book, then... then that's what I'll do. Okay, it's not a single book. Can't move it now. So one, two, buckle my shoe, three, one, two, three, maybe, okay. Getting in the wardrobe. that dog? I don't know. No idea. Scared the bejesus out of me, you know. What's going on down here?
Bloody thing off. That's supposed to be, well it looks like a spider's web, but I don't know. I don't know why you thought you would. I would. No, that won't do it. Is that this floor complete then? It would look like it because you've gone done round the whole circle. So I would say, yeah, probably. Who was that? Well, what was that? Stay in the light, Doc. Is that? It sounds like a stupid. Well, it might not be a stupid cat, but oh, either a cat or half a bag. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Only for it to go out. Oh, am I meant to be going towards it? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. 
Uh, I see. Uh, so what are we doing here then? Oh right, okay. going through that door, is there? Hmm, I don't know, there's another room there by the looks of that. It won't budge though. It won't. you go mental. What is the heartbeat you think? Is it's dark? It's not dark. Why well, shouldn't I have done that now? As episode ones go, it was different, I suppose. I suppose we could definitely say that. It's a bit creepy so far, that's all. Don't forget guys, if you like content on the channel, smash the like button, comment and subscribe. What's with the turkey? Look after yourselves, look after one another. It's just as important. It is. Be kind to one another, please. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, my friends, be lucky. Ta-da.